And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zoe Shivana. I am expecting this deck to do really well. Um, this is a deck that I kind of built on the uh, premise that a lot of people are going to be playing um, Aurelia Azir and a lot of people are playing Thresh Nasus. And I think that this deck is going to be very good against both of them. I know some of y'all on YouTube were, were talking about how um, Aurelia Azir is like too powerful and how it's everywhere and what to do about it. Now, you know, it's first couple of days, like I, like I kind of respond to some of the comments. I don't really expect it to be everywhere in a couple of weeks, but it's just like Lucian Azir from last format. It's really popular right now. And I think that this could be a deck that could be really well positioned against it. So let's look at some of the stuff that we got in here. Um, so we're, we're going to be playing Zoe just because Zoe is amazing. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like Zoe's just good against like a lot of the other decks. But anyway, um, we, uh, let's see, <clears throat> we're going to be playing some dragons with fury really just shivana and screeching dragon that have fury and fury is going to be good against little one ones attacking so whenever they blade dance and have sand soldiers with the one ones you get to block you kill it and then your your unit grows so fury matches up really well against those things what also matches up really well is lifesteal because you can you can, you know you get to pick what you want to block you can block little one ones with like a three two lifesteal radiant guardian another card that should work out perfectly against them because it has lifesteal and it has tough. So you can just block the sand soldiers and, uh, you know, heal your nexus and then also tough radiant guardians, not dying. So we're playing three radiant guardians in here. And we should have plenty of other units to die. Uh, mountain goat with gems should work out really well. Cause you, you know, you can block a one, one and then create a gem with your mountain goat. And then you can gem and heal your mountain goat again. And so you can kind of continually block one ones with mountain goat and with gems spending one mana for each one you can also kind of use the gems to reheal the fangs and stuff like that too uh let's see so yeah so our deck's going to be about that and then fight spells we're going to have three single combat two strafing strike two concerted strike so we can have fight spells to go along with our lifesteal units like with radiant guardian and the fangs but then also obviously the fight spells are really good with the dragons so we should have a decent amount of removal for the different champions also guiding touches in here to be able to heal our dragons or Radiant Guardian, whenever it takes a little bit of damage. And then finally, we're playing three Hush, because the other deck everybody's playing right now is Thresh Nasus. Nasus is everywhere, and you really need Hush for Nasus. So we're going to have three of those. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be the deck. I, I feel like this is going to be pretty good, but we'll see. I wanted to play one Aurelian Soul at the top end. I think that, you know, like I, the curve stops at five here. Now we do have some Celestial cards, so we could still have some powerful stuff at the top end. But um, I could see like other decks like this with a really in soul like like we're going to be we would struggle against a really in soul but you know there's not a lot of people playing a really in soul right now um, i'm playing one egghead researcher over the third spacey sketcher because it's a one three it can block like three times before dying against little one ones and it also makes that dragon for us uh so that that should be a card that lines up pretty well here all right so let's uh let's go ahead and give this a try so we're going to play some zoe shivana I wasn't sure, like, yeah, if we would play one Aurelian Soul. I just didn't know if I wanted to play only, like, two Shivanas or two Zoes. I, I wanted to play three of both of them. <laughs> if, if you could play seven champions, we'd play 3-3-1. Three, three, and there you go. Aurelia is here. First deck. This is got My opponent has not <laughs> has not leveled up Azir, but they have leveled up Aurelia. All right, we don't need the Hush as much. Um, I don't really want to keep two cards that cost four, but I want both of these cards. So maybe I do keep both of them that cost four. I guess it'd be the Fangs, but, but the Fangs is good here, so. The desert by my side. Azir's command! All right, so we got a couple of two drops now. We'll kind of see which two drop we want to play, the goat or the researcher, depending on what they do. I get like the researcher blocks that two one a lot better, so I guess we're probably just playing the researcher. With a little time, I'll have a break. Sharima, your emperor has returned. Oh. 
Shirima's name. I'm not sure where I want to use that gem yet. You must have some unique insight into dragons. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. So I can like gem the mountain go to make it a four two so it can attack against his ear better. But we'll kinda of see what they play. Also possible I just shouldn't have played the gem and just save spell mana. Like the, this extra one damage doesn't really matter. Yeah, I probably should. I should have saved spell mana because the Shivana was going to heal itself anyway from attacking with that plus one plus one. I, I should have probably just saved a spell mana. Because yeah, if I would have saved the spell mana, then I could have fangs and single combat and that would have been great to be able to have that combination together. you have seen today. Arise! Murder commands! Alright, let's see. I'm gonna block there. Come face me. There are none like me. Did help. Help me level up my Shivana pretty fast. So I'm kind of thinking they have retreat return. Like if I single combat, they retreat return. Would have gone. This would have been easier if I didn't play that gem, but too late for that. I obviously need to kill this Azir. Big difference between 2-1 and 1-1. I'm trying to bait. I'm trying to bait retreat return out of their hand because I think that they have ret retreat return. I think they've had it since the droplet. Nopeify. All right, same thing. You're at nine. Because I'd rather have, you know, because the, the healing two for the strafing strike, it's a lot more valuable than a single combat that doesn't heal the two, right? So, like, I, so I wanted, so I played the single combat first to get the spell out of their hand. Even though I did risk, if they just let it happen, my Shivana would have died. So I did risk my Shivana dying. So, as long as they don't have a Zir, we're good. Even still, we should still be good, but we're definitely good if they don't have a Zir. Okay, well, they had the... 
Yeah, like, <laughs> they needed to have that, but should still be fine. Unfortunately, I've already played Strafing Strike. So I guess Hush is, like, the only card. I could play Hush this turn and then still, and then level up Zoe and then Fangs and give everything lifesteal, including the dragon. I'm just going to do that. Go ahead. You want Blade Dance? Take the Blade Dance of Death. Looking for a daring escape. Okay. That, uh, yeah, that's that's a thing. Men die, but Sharima lives that's forever. a thing. Now they can Blade Dance. I don't know if they'd want to, but now they can. Okay, they want to. Good old Moon Silvers. Just be at 14. <laughs> we don't need to do one damage to the Shivana for six life. Yeah, I would not recommend spending the coins on the starter packs. Think yeah, just just play the game. You get, if you want to spend coins on something, just spend coins on wild cards. You don't need to spend them on on the starting starter packs. Backups twenty. Do. GG's Fury Lifesteal. And Aurelian Aurelia Azir. What a surprise. Okay, Mulligan, Mulligan, Mulligan. We'll keep Shivana. Now we get some dragons and fight spells. Who's my favorite champion? So it's tough to say because I like so many different champions, and I, I just, I'm somebody who's, I don't know. I, I think it's just kind of like my personality. I don't have favorites as much. I just, I find things to appreciate about all of them. Um, so it's tough. It's tough to say. 
I could see it being like I like the support champions a lot, so maybe like Lulu or Tarek or Shen. But then I've always liked playing Teemo decks. Like Teemo is like a fun champion to play. And I've always really liked playing Katarina decks. Getting like the extra attacks and everything. Katarina's really cool. So I guess those are the champions that came to mind. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. So they are getting more card draw with like this stuff, but this kind of stuff does slow them down, which is good for me. What's today's lesson? Now, not being able to play anything is not good for me. Play the goat, I got two mana left still. Okay. It's basically it's, it's a one mana goat right now. I am more than I see. Gotta find a gift for an action! Right, Arda! They are nothing. Even if the Shivana dies, I do have a backup Shivana, but we have like one like single combat to try to help protect it. They are playing quite slow over there also, so I'm expecting, especially, you know, again seeing droplets, I'm expecting them to have some return type cards. So if this works out, this levels up Shivana. Okay, so because of the Fury, that grows to two health. Even though it took four, now the Fury grows back to two health. Let's we'll block across the board. So I have double strafing strike for this turn. Yeah, dragons are sweet. Fury, I think people are gonna are starting to they're like they're gonna find out the power of the fury keyword. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. That's what we're gonna start seeing. Hey Nasher, welcome back. Your power went out. I'm sorry to hear that. There's the return card.
Darkness shines on us all. Nah. I don't like that card. Next round. Oh, no other attacks? Alright. That's not a bad card. Keep more of these spells available. I could play that dragon, but not playing the dragon means it you know gets scraping strike and single combat. Both those together, but see how much Fury has done. <laughs> Fury's given this screeching dragon plus six plus six. It's given this Shivana plus four plus four. They can't play anything right now because of my strafing strike. I don't know if Crescent Strike was the best card to take. The Emperor's favor upon you. Okay, that'll do. Zoe Shivana 2 and O. Oh. Alright, this is gonna be interesting. We're playing against Malphite Zillion. We played some Malphite Zillion yesterday, and it was pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm going to uh, mulligan that, mulligan this. I feel like this could be a decent priestess matchup. I'll keep the priestess. This game at least will play something before turn four. Last game against the Aurelian Azir deck. I just realized that we didn't we didn't even have anything to play before turn four. I guess I played one I played a guiding touch. I guess that kinda counts. Alright, well good opening hand for them. These sentinels are very good to have early. I don't want to kill them. So we're in a little bit of a conundrum. Hey, Soul Raider. Yeah, yesterday we played Aurelia Azir. Today, as you can see by the schedule, we played Aurelia and um, Quinn. It didn't go very well for us today, the Aurelia Quinn. We played Aurelia Azir yesterday. Tomorrow we're going to be playing Aurelia Misfortune. Ideally, they would attack, they kill this thing, and then I, and then I play Radiant Guardian afterwards. But if I just pass priority they could 
also pass priority fairly easily. We'll get our legs in. I wouldn't have been surprised if they just have their 2-3 challenge the Traveler, honestly. I don't think that's, that was like the best use of a Merciless Hunter, but I don't know. Aurelia really Maokai? Flip a Maokai turn 7 with Snap Vines? That does sound pretty good. Yeah, especially they have Rockfall Path. They they really should have challenged my Solari Priestess. Killed it if they want to kill something small. I'll just draw an additional card. Sea Scarab is the key with the blades. Wait, the blades do count as death? They don't count as obliterate? They count as death? Love it when they, run. they count as dying? Oh, it's Snap Vine. Okay, Snap Vine kills the blade. I got you. These things would give them two mana gems next round. So they'd have ten mana gems next round. I'm basically thinking to try to use a Concerted Strike to save Screeching Dragon. I think my answer is going to be no. Justice will be served. I, of course, don't really care about the little bit, little tiny bits of damage they've dealt with that. Oh, Rockfall Path. Trying to kill my Zoe. I don't like that. I, of course, have this Spacey Sketcher for next round that I can play, which I hope Spacey Sketcher is smaller than Zoe. Goat can give me a gem. So I can gem this Zoe. Wow. Alright, so these, these blue sentinels are just, like, not going to do anything ever. What are we playing? Zillion and Malphite? So they could have done that and stunned the Zoe and not let the Zoe create a super cool star chart, and they didn't do that. Stop! Oh, no, my Zoe's. I'm sorry, Zoe. Zoe. This is the kind of deck like where we would want the Aurelian Soul. Aight. I'm trying to play Zoe early because of leveling up Zoe, of course. That card not as Aight.
Okay. So they have a big celestial card also. That's acceptable. Alright, so we're looking good. Star Shaping is a great draw. There's Eye of the Rahoric. So I can supernova and get rid of these to keep them from stunning, but I don't know, that that seems a little silly. Oh no, another star shaping. That could get a pretty good threat. Could have the two on Challenger that cost zero mana, but my my Zoe's gonna get. Okay, as I say, it's gonna get stunned anyway. All right, there we go. So of course I was gonna be able to attack when I was probably just gonna hush, not Zoe, but the other thing that was stunned. And be able to attack with that also. Or Aurelia Azir. Oh, Darius Azir. Head on over to Noxus with the new 5 1. One drop. I don't know, that star shaping could be pretty useful, and single combat's kind of always useful. could be good against a big Darius. I need a better blocker. I guess not. You know, like, I need a big thing for single combat. I guess I got, I got two chances at the zero drop. Cool. Good. So I could gem the Serpent, so then I can single combat to kill the Merciless Hunter. I feel like I should probably just let the Zoe die. You have Zoe blocks like one of these things. I think Zoe's probably done her job. I think Zoe's done her job. They want their 4-3 Fearsome. That's a super big attacker and everything they want. That, let's see, yeah. I 
They want that just to trade with Zoe. Okay, the three one, not the one one. That's right. Run. I'll do better this time. So my single combating and saving Zoe. I don't think I am. Basically, I didn't even board with us you know, still having five cards in hand. To them, a lot less than five, to them three cards, so I'm not mad at where we're at. Love the Shivana draw, because now we got single combats enabled and everything. I hate that card, though. Gross. Okay. Um, those are going to trade anyway. Let's take out this Merciless Hunter while we're at it. It wasn't the best case scenario, but it wasn't the worst. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. Forever, you say. I just need to play one more unit, then a zero to two six. Oh wow. They don't have a unit to play. Got all spells in hand. Bunch of fervors. That's okay. We're four and oh. I wonder what their other cards in hand were. Are they like Shunpo's? Zillion Nasus. So this is probably going to be just like the next deck that we're playing, Zillion Kindred, which I think Nasus is probably a better champion than Kindred, but I wanted to play Kindred. Um, but... Hello. But Nasus is... Awesome and probably makes more sense than Kindred. Oh yeah, this deck does great against Aurelia Aggro. This that's what I I built this to be awesome against Aurelia Aggro. Uh Zoe. Yeah, this is not a great Zoe matchup, them with their go hards. And Vile Feast and everything. So just trading two mana card for two mana card. I don't want to not attack and then let them go hard the goat and I don't get the gem because obviously I want the gem with the spacey sketcher. Cool. Traveler is just what I wanted. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Is gonna make a meal of them. Card still broken. Suffer my fury. <laughs> it costs less than Shivana's and just as big as Shivana. Man, that card is messed up. Traveler. 
just a much more powerful card than the three mana three three. The one mana four one isn't really a consideration against a go hard deck. We don't need to be as fast for this matchup. We don't need um, the Moon Silver. This this deck would definitely really love a really in Soul, right? Like the really in Soul would be would be amazing. I'd much rather have that over a Zoe. That's worth two cards. Well, I definitely love seeing that, right? I'd, I'll trade that single combat for a ride negation. How many ride negations do you think they're playing? You think they're playing all three? I'm guessing probably two. This should be... Okay. I was kind of expecting them to play Go Hard first, and then I'll play the other Zoe, and then we play that. Ooh, no Go Hard. Shaping, where are you? I keep on drawing Zoe's. Uh, unfortunately, this just isn't the matchup for you, Zoe. don't have right negation mana. That will do. That's going to be a 5 and 0. Oh. GG's. So there we go. That was Zoe, Shivana, and just like I talked about at the beginning of the video, I expected this deck to do really well, and not too surprised there with the 5 and 0. Oh. Um, I think I think this is just kind of really good against a lot of the stuff that's going on these days. You have a lot of Nasus, which we got these Hush for, and we have, you know, a lot of like the Aurelia deck, um, you know, Aurelia Azir, and I think that we match up perfectly against Aurelia Azir, as you saw with those first couple of games with just Fury being so good against them. We did even get like Radiant Guardian in play against Aurelia Azir, which that would be, in, you know, incredible getting this card in play against them, but we didn't actually even get that, our best card against them. 
Um, but yeah, this deck just is going to be really good right now. You still have, like, even against your, your late game decks, like the control deck, like we just saw, you still have your different celestial cards with, you know, Priestess and Star Shaping and all that kind of stuff that can still put in some good work for you, even though you have, like, some tools like Zoe and um, Radiant Guardian that's not going to be the best against the control deck. Um, but yeah, I think this is just a really well positioned deck. And, and like I uh, kind of said during the video that if, if I was just focused on um, ranking up right now and trying to get to masters as, as fast as possible, I would just keep playing this deck. And I think that uh, I could, I think that this deck, uh, you know, kind of has everything, you know, Demasi and Targon. Um, so there you go. So those of y'all that have been looking for a deck that's going to be good against Aurelia Azir and just kind of good and also good against Thresh Nasus and good against the rest of the metagame. Um, hopefully y'all try this one out. Hopefully y'all like some Zoe Shivana because I think that Targon Demacia has all the tools to succeed. All right, so that's going to be it here for Zoe Shivana. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit the like button and leave those comments. Hopefully y'all really enjoyed the video. Hopefully y'all like the deck. Let me know if you try it out yourself. Hopefully y'all uh, enjoy this one as well. Uh, we got two more fun decks to play though with uh, Zillion and Malphite. Let's keep on exploring those champions and exploring new stuff. This is kind of just all a bunch of old stuff that we know is good. Um, but yeah, uh, besides that, let me know what kind of decks y'all want to see on stream. What kind of, um, and for YouTube, like, you know, what kind of champion combinations y'all want to see? Let me know. Leave those comments. But as always, thank you so much for watching some Zoe Shivana, and I will see you for the next video.